Pétain wanted to hold the French Empire. Mussolini wanted to chunk of the French Empire. Franco wanted to chunk of the chunk of the Fre French Empire. So they all wanted they all wanted something. And Hitler was not inclined to give any of them anything. But now we are at war. Right, yeah, I love you all. We want a better world. Martin is aging fool. German foe begins its ruthless march of conquest and sets the stage for World War II. Basically, Hitler was not, at that point, was not particularly interested in having Franco aboard. He'd said things like, I have enough harvest helpers. He was actually on a reconnaissance trip, you know, he, he, he was on a journey to see Franco, to see Pétain, with whom he would derive most benefit by taking on board as an ally. First of all, if Franco arrives on this decrepit old train, and you can actually see from the newsreel film, Franco's eyes are glistening, he's almost in tears at the, the thrill of meeting his great hero, and Hitler remains his hero for a long time after the Second World War. It's not a meeting of equals. It's pretty clear that he is very keen to join in the war. Now, that's not to say he doesn't think he's gonna get something for it. So, of course, the only way he can join in the war is if Hitler is prepared to rebuild the Spanish armed forces, which are in an absolute mess after the, the Civil War, and pretty antiquated anyway. You know, you've still got a million soldiers wearing rope sandals. So it needs Hitler to, to basically to rearm Spain, and also Hitler to rebuild the Spanish economy. Now, that's just not worth Hitler's while. And what becomes very clear in the course of the negotiations is that obviously there's, there's Franco and Hitler schmoozing, but behind the scenes there are civil servants and, and you know officials talking Turkey about the real detail. And when it becomes clear what the Germans really want, you know, military bases in the Canary Islands, to, to use of you know, access to Spain's raw materials, a whole series, you know, quite a big shopping list, plus the pay payment for the huge investment made by the Third Reich during the, the Spanish Civil War. What happens is Franco is informed of this and at first he won't believe it. He's like, oh, it's inconceivable. Hitler's such a great man. It's inconceivable that he would stoop to such petty you know, accounting and so on. So there's a real problem here. There's a real discrepancy between Hitler, who's at that stage not very interested, and Franco, who is desperate. And there is evidence of him saying to um, close collaborators quite late into 1945, this is all part of Hitler's master plan. So we've got, you know, the Russians coming in from the east, the Allies coming in from the west, and Franco assuring his, his confidant, this is a trap that Hitler is luring them in, and once he's got them in, he's going to unleash his Wunderwaffen and, you know, the, the wonder weapons. Uh, which is obvi obviously tripe. I mean, it, it comes as a very nasty shock to, to Franco. He never really takes it on board until the very last minute. At which point, of course, it's, you know, oh, I knew all along. Mm -hmm. 